Due to the recent rise in popularity of my reflective tape video, I wanted to give you an update on my reflective arsenal and show some of my recent reflective purchases. Alright, so starting off I wanted to show off my blue reflective jacket which I actually made reflective in my last video about uh, reflective things and it's held up pretty well. I'm very satisfied with it because um, first of all it's an excellent jacket. I, I didn't expect the build quality that it has but it lasted me pretty much the entire summer and it's very breathable. It's a, it's a very nice jacket since um, I wore it very comfortably in the spring because it wasn't too hot, it wasn't too cold. And then I really didn't expect I was going to be wearing it in summer because it seems like uh, it seems like quite a thick jacket, but the, the hollow mesh inside really lets the air out. But yeah, as I said, it's a pretty good jacket both in cold and hot climates, and it's really lasted me a long time. I've only washed it, I think, one or two times since I got it. Uh, I mean, once when I got it and then another time after. Uh, and the reflective tape, I took it off once, I think, for the washing. And then I just put it back on. It's the same reflective tape. That's why it has that small kink, if you can see. And it is starting to peel off, actually. I'm not too concerned with that. It's it's uh, quite an old jacket. And I still haven't gotten a new roll of tape. And I've used up all of my reflective tape. So uh, I'll have to work something out. But yeah, apart from that, this is probably the least reflective thing I own currently. But I just thought it would be kind of funny to see what kind of durability you can expect from cheap, uh, low cost, I guess, um, reflective tape that you can get online. And I'm pretty happy once again, it's, it's served me well. So let's move on to the next thing. Now this next thing is pretty cool. I've never been much of a hat guy, but apparently this company named Marche Noir I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing that right, it's French, but they make this really cool reflective hat, uh, which I bought, and it's uh, it's just a normal hat, pretty much, but once you get into the light, like I'm doing right now, as you can see, is your, it's, it really, it's really reflective, it, like the whole thing is reflective, it's not like with the jacket that only the, the reflective strips I put on there are reflective, the entire thing is reflective, and I think this is pretty much the god tier safety item for anything because I'm really concerned with uh, when I'm riding my bike outside that's what that's my main concern I really want to protect myself from not being seen because that's the most scary like the most scary thing you can you can do if you're on the road is that other people can't see you and this is like 100% against that uh, I, th I don't think people can even miss you with this you you're, you're you literally have a, a you're like a highlighter pen with an end cap that's like super bright and it's on your head and this is like really 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 cool um pretty much one of my favorite items i've as i said i've never been much of a hat guy but after i got this um i pretty much wear a hat all the time especially during the night because it's so much safer and, and you really feel safer uh but apart from that the hat is pretty good uh anyway I, I wear it during the day as well. It's it's just an normal snapback, I guess, if that's what they call them. And uh, there's not much to say about it other than it looks really cool. Now, I don't have the footage of this, but it looks really cool when water gets on it, which is some of the time. And yeah, one, one other thing is that it's quite durable. I mean, I've worn it out in the rain and it's pretty good against rain as well. But once uh, water gets on it, like once rain gets on it, um, it has this like very very cool effect like it's it looks very dirty to some extent it's like crazy it, it, you, you've never seen anything like it because it's so reflective and i really i'm really enjoying uh this hat one last thing i want to mention before we move on is that it looks very cool both in the night or during the night if you have someone for example with your headlight or their headlights looking at you or their flash on their phone but it, you can get reflective off of anything for example during the day if the sun shines in the right way from for like behind the person who's looking at you there the hat looks reflective like even during the day and because the sun is such a powerful like flashlight it looks crazy during the day so yeah this is definitely a, a really cool thing all right next up is this places plus faces uh, bag it's once again it's with the it's like the hat it's fully reflective so pretty much as you saw in the previous clip, that's what it looks like uh, when it's when it's uh, being lit up by a flashlight. Uh, but 
I'm not really too sure if that's what we really want. I mean, I guess for the hat, I, I really like it because, you know, it's quite visible. But for the bag, it's it's going to be either on your front or, or on your back, perhaps, if you're, uh, if you're, I mean, if you're wearing it as a shoulder bag, which I do. And it's it doesn't really provide that much safety during cycling or something like that or during walking because, you know, if, if you're wearing it on your front, you, you, the people from the back can't see it. If you're wearing it on the back, uh, the people from the front can't see it. Uh, and wearing it on the side is pretty much like very impractical. I never do it. So this is not much of a safety item. And if we're talking about just, uh, how, how would I say this? If we're talking just about fashion things, I don't really think um, fully reflective is the way to go. I, I think uh, having reflective accents is 100% better th than going full reflective if we're talking about just fashion. For safety, yeah, okay, full reflective is sometimes okay. Fashion, full reflective, it's just not creative. But here, I kind of like it. The Places Plus Faces badge is not really, um, it's, it's not reflective. So that's the only thing that's not reflective on the bag. And so it's like kind of, uh, it provides an anti-effect when you're wearing it. Usually I put some type of paper in there or train ticket or something because I don't really want to... I, I really like the bag for the reflectiveness, not the brand, so I, I, I don't like that. Uh, but yeah, you, there's like this mesh pocket that you can put things in there. I usually keep my phone there. And the bag really is spacious inside. I actually had um, a red uh, places uh, and, and faces bag like this before. Um, which coincidentally I put in the dryer and it got like shrunk down so I can't use it anymore but it was very similar and it had the same type of uh, compartments inside and when I switched over to this I, I it was very familiar to me because I um, knew everything about it it has a very cool thing inside where you can hang your key so that you can just open it and use it very quickly and yeah a lot of space inside I, I this is my everyday carry bag because it's so impractical to keep everything in your pockets. I just keep everything in this bag and like have it very, very close to me at all times. I usually have all sorts of things in there, like uh, even screwdrivers and screws and stuff like that, just in case of any emergencies. Yeah, stuff like that. So this is a very cool thing because it's a very spacious bag. Uh, suits me pretty well. And once again, it's reflective. It gives some safety, but not too much. And yeah, pretty, pretty cool, this one. Next up, not as impressive, but I got these Beluga 2.0s and um, they came in with, or they, they came uh, with regular laces. And I really thought because of the Beluga design, how these shoes look, I, I really felt that if I could get the reflective laces on there, they would be really cool. So that's what I got. I got these reflective laces for them. I didn't really lace them up pretty well. And the laces are quite uh, not as long as the original laces were. That, that was on my... Uh, that was my bad because I should have measured them before I bought it, but it doesn't matter. These, these laces were like very, very cheap, super inexpensive, and it's not that you can only use them with uh, shoes, right? I, I, I really thought about this, and this is pretty much one of the best things because you can just use these uh, laces on whatever you want. Like you can use them on, um, if, you, if you have a backpack that you wear, it has nothing reflective on it. You can just put these reflective laces on it. You, you don't even have to put it. You can just uh, tie it, or you can have some sort of... Um, uh, thing that you tie to everything and just put it there it's very useful in many different situations and I really like it and especially on the shoes because I mean once again it gives some safety but not too much uh, but it looks just really cool and uh, you know sometimes if you're standing right above uh, or sorry standing right below a light source it looks very cool like this as you can see in the video it's very reflective and yeah, I really like it. You can pretty much get these in any color you want. So I got the black ones and I got a lot of black ones uh, because I, I feel like black, you know, combines with everything. You, it's it's like it's it's really good color to have reflective because uh, you don't expect it to be reflective because it's black. But yeah, it looks pretty decent if, if you ask me. All right, next up, we got another pair of these Jay-Z's, but uh, this time I got these reflective ones. And I think this is really cool because... Um, I, I, before I mentioned how their laces don't give too much uh, safety, but if you have like really reflective shoes from all sides, I think that's one of the greatest uh, safety items you can get because, you know, if, if you have the reflective hat and the reflective bag and perhaps even the reflective jacket, and then you even got the shoes and they're, yeah, pretty visible, they're white and they're like the entire shoe is reflective even from the back, even from the sides. I think this is like the perfect combo, the perfect uh, loadout or setting that you can get 
to be maximum visibility. Um, this is like if you really don't want to wear a high vis vest, which you should, uh, which I do. But yeah, I, I think these are really cool as well. And this is where I got the reflective laces um, uh, idea from because I know some of these come with reflective laces, like these ones. Uh, but I, I know that some non-reflective ones, because you can get also you can get these shoes also in a non-reflective version, and I know you can get them as well in um, with the reflective laces, but not reflective in the entire shoe, and that's why I, I wanted to get the reflective laces separately from my other shoes, and I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I actually got another pair of a similar shoe like this, which is also completely reflective, but. Uh, I used to wear that shoe or I used to wear those shoes when I was uh, out cycling and what happened was I fell off my bike and now they're like really uh, busted and not really uh, wearable anymore but I still wear them if I'm going out cycling at night because nobody can see that they're like really torn up and the safety they give is just uh, really good. Anyways, this is pretty much the end, but I have one more thing to show you. This is kind of like a bonus clip that I wanted to include is that uh, I have this uh, safety reflective pin, which is actually kind of like, a, you know, those badges that you get for band concerts or whatever. Yeah, I, I have one of these and you can just pin it anywhere. It's like the reflective laces pretty much. Um, but yeah, I have it on this uh, very cool uh, Christmas sweater that my girlfriend bought for me. And I have it specifically in the center. And I, I think this is quite tacky, but I, I like tacky. Uh, either way, uh, I think it looks pretty cool. And, you know, it's it's a really great uh, reflective thing for safety if you put it on your backpack or something like that. Here I put it just for fun because I, I didn't have anything else to showcase it on. But, yeah, I really like it. And here you can see how just how reflective it can get. I mean, I don't really think the the camera can really show that. Because, you know, it, it can only take in so much light. I mean, from this point of view, it looks just like it's perfectly white. But trust me, once it's dark and once the headlights come in, this is a very good safety feature. Anyways, this is pretty much the end of the video. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for your support and watching these videos that I make. It's, it's really fun and it's very great to be able to share my passion with for reflective things with so many other people through such a creative medium. And don't worry about the shoes on the bed. I put the paper underneath so that it wouldn't get dirty because uh, they are dirty. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate every single view. And, you know, I look at the comments all the time. I look at the analytics. Every time one view comes in, I'm so happy. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.